Today I'm using Sonar 4 and for this little demonstration we're barely going to be scratching the surface of what this awesome program can do. I'm going to import an audio file into our pane to start with. This is Janie Runaway, a Steely Dan song. For those of you who have seen the concert they put out on DVD, they'll know there's a much more exciting version than this one with the uh, backup singers and the full band. But this studio version will work for us here. Now what I want to do is make a MIDI file representing this song. I need to listen to the song and decipher the parts and then uh, put the parts together to assemble a MIDI file. It makes it really nice to be able to have the music right in the same screen with the MIDI as you'll see during this demonstration. First I need to find the tempo of this song and slide it into position. Let's listen. By opening the tempo dialog box, we're able to click here to tap tempo. So by clicking in the tempo of the song, you'll come up pretty close, but I've already determined this one to be 106. So I'm going to set it at 106, and then by zooming in here, I'll turn off snap to grid and slide it into position. By turning on click during playback, I could have an audible reference to listen to, or I can do it visually. Another way is to use big time which I'll show you here. Now that that's done, we can begin making this MIDI file. I generally start with drums. First we'll turn our snap to grid back on and we'll open up the drum track. I like to look at it from the piano roll view. Each track in the screen can be a different instrument. I've already set this track up to be our drum track. Now using the pencil tool, I can draw in notes. I also have eraser and so on. After the notes are drawn, you can change the length or move them around, even add or delete notes. So with the original track in place as my reference, I'll begin drawing in the drums where I hear them sounding. The first thing I hear the drummer doing in this song is playing on the snare drum, so I'm just going to add some snare drum beats here to begin. Looks like that'll work. So we'll add in some more, and we'll have a listen. lines that you see at the bottom of the screen, I hope you can see on this video, are the velocity of each note. By dragging my pencil across, I can increase the velocity of each one this way, or by using the straight line tool, I'll do an even nicer job. Now you can hear the effect as they get louder. That'll do it, but I notice this last note, he plays on the hi-hat. I have a full set of drums here, so I'll choose the open and closed hi-hat. 